Well, as many as one in five maritime women live with varicose veins. Traditionally, removing them required surgery, followed by six weeks of recovery. Thanks to advances in technology, though, a less invasive procedure has parents, uh, patients, I should say, uh, up and walking again in about an hour. Get the details now in this Live 5 house call. As a real estate agent, Lorraine Godin spends plenty of time on her feet. In my line of work, I'm up and down stairs, I'm walking lots, so you need good working legs. But for the past two and a half years, varicose veins have been causing her a great deal of pain. Constantly burn, constantly ache. There's always a heaviness and a pressure. My legs tend to get tired very easily. Lorraine isn't alone. It's estimated at least half of all Maritimers over the age of 50 are living with some form of vein disease. Varicose veins can grow up to more than half a centimeter in diameter and take on a rope-like appearance under the skin. They're not only unsightly, they can also be dangerous. They can get thrombosed, which means there will be blood clot inside the vein formed with the inflammation it becomes very, very painful and they, they need to be treated for that. But besides, if uh, the, the trauma blood clot propagate up, it can go into the deep system, cause deep vein thrombosis, which is much more serious problem. Dr. Alexander Mott says in the past, patients underwent surgery to remove the veins. It was an invasive operation done under general anesthetic, followed by weeks of recovery. Now doctors are performing a procedure called endovenous laser ablation. Dr. Motz uses ultrasound technology to locate the affected area. Next, a needle is inserted into the leg through which a catheter goes into the vein. A laser is then placed in the catheter. The laser energy with the heat will basically close this vein down. So it will prevent from the backflow or reflux through the damaged vein and the blood will go normally through the deep system as it's supposed to go. Finally, the damaged vein is removed through the catheter. Stan Gorens has been living with varicose veins for more than 30 years. In about two months ago, we ran into problems. They got infected and, and large infection, which was spreading pretty quick. So I was on antibiotics to clear this up. Just over two weeks ago, Stan had the procedure performed on his legs. He says the process was simple, and he was back to his regular routine in no time. I didn't feel any pain during the procedure, not at all, you know, and, uh, and when it all was done, I drove myself and my wife home and I went for a walk. Dr. Mott says endovenous laser ablation is now the gold standard for vein removal because it's safe and effective. It offers uh, almost 98 percent of the success rate which means that it's almost uh, guaranteed that the patient will, will get rid, rid of his varicose veins, yeah. Because it's performed in private clinics, patients must pay out of pocket for the procedure. Price varies depending on severity. Lorraine says it was money well spent. I'm looking so forward to sleeping for more than a half an hour at a time. And thanks to this high-tech approach that zaps vein pain, Lorraine should be sleeping soundly tonight. And laser treatment is also available for spider veins. For more information, you can visit www.AtlanticVeinClinics.com. And I think there will be a lot of interest in this story. Oh, for sure. I yeah. was at the mall on my lunch hour today, and I had a lady stop me and say, I can't wait to watch that vein <laughs> the, the, the story. The vein story, that's right, yeah. <laughs>